Yo, what is good, YouTube? It is 2K Made Aqua here. And everyone's been asking, bro, what build do you use? What jump shot do you use? What badges do you use? How do I dribble? So today, this video, I'm bringing y'all a Guard Academy video. And this isn't just no regular Guard Academy video. I'm going to put a little twist to it. This is the 1v1 Court Academy video. Because, you know, I'm not really a small guard. I'm a once player. So if you know me, you know. I dropped the 1v1 Court Academy video like two months ago. But I learned a lot more stuff since then. I got new jump shot. I got new build. I got all that. So yeah, without further ado, I got to jump right into this video. I got to show y'all. We're going to go over a lot of things. And this video might be long. But I'm going to try to not make it that long, you know. Because it might take 30 years to upload. So we're just going to roll through this. And first off, we're going to start with the build, man. Let's get right into it. I'm going to show y'all the build that I have. And the builds that you should make. And I'm going to show y'all the badges that I would preferably put on the build. So yeah, let's get right into the build okay and as you see right here i got this demigod build man i'm gonna show you how good this build really is i'm gonna show you what build to make all the things to do so first off make the position point guard in right hand right hand left hand doesn't matter i just prefer right hands and you know i get better animations i feel like if you're picking right handed but yeah now on the body settings as you see right here six foot eight 201 seven five wingspan and compact compact makes your build have longer skinny arms seven five as you see right here we're gonna have an 85 three-pointer and we're still going to be able to get our speed boost threshold of an 86 ball handle. You see it's an 89. And 6 foot 8. You can go 6 foot 9, but it's going to be really slow on current gen. So we're just going to go 6 foot 8. And you see here the badge spread on this build. 13, 21, 20, and 16. That is crazy. This is a 70 plus badge build. So this build is going to be going crazy on the one score. So look at this right here. As you see, the threshold you want. You want a 93 driver dunk so you get elite contact dunks. You want 85 three-pointers so you get silver limitless range. You want an 86 ball handle at least, so you can get all of these animations, the good dribble animations. And for Hall of Fame Quick First Step, you need an 89 ball handle. So make sure you have an 89 ball handle on this build right here. Just copy these stats, to be honest. This build is amazing. Just copy these stats on the build. And you see interior defense right here. We get all of the badges. We get post move lockdown. We get chase down our Hall of Fame. Very good badge. Challenger. We don't get clamps, but you really don't need clamps. We can put our perimeter defense up one. If y'all want clamps, you can put it up one, but I've never ran clamps and I don't really have a problem because I, you don't run into guards that much that can't get by you. So yeah, anchor, silver, glove, obviously rebound chaser. So we're mostly going to be running into post scores. I'm not going to lie. If you bring this build to the stage, you're going to be running into straight post scores. Not no six one guard, so clamps is not essential. But if you do plan bringing this build to the twos and threes mainly, make sure to at least get bronze clamps at least. And this is my gym rat build, so I get plus four to all these. I see right here, speed. 78 acceleration 79 strength 55 vertical 75 and stamina 95 you see that is all for the build and we'll go over the badges in a minute i'll show you the, what badges i would preferably put on if i was using this build i see here agent threes put that badge on blinders you need it amped you need it volume shooter it's not essential but it's very good guard up limitless range all those badges are amazing you see let's go on to playmaking right here hyper drive makes you dribble two times faster put that on killer combos you do not need killer combos unpluckable put that on quick first step handles for days and ankle breaker if you want but those are like the four or five badges i would put on and you see right here finishing let's go to finishing fearless finisher good badge giant slayer not very good limitless takeoff you need that badge maxed posterizer you need that badge maxed slithery finisher it's a good badge it doesn't really help you that much so yeah master obviously it sounds like a good badge improves the player's ability to finish well around the basket but it really does not activate i'm telling you so i would not preferably put that badge on but yeah takeovers that would port takeovers i just see takeover right here slasher and spot up shooter takeover slasher takeover if you don't use a dunk beater the most broken takeover in the game the biggest skill gap by far this year is, is a dunk beater so if you know to use a dunk beater once you get slasher takeover it's really over you can just drive no matter how good defense they play you can drive every single possession and dunk on them and for spot up shooter takeover you can literally be the worst player in the game, have the worst release, and you'll still make the shot because you have sharp takeover on. You don't even have to release it nearly as good. It helps you make every single three-pointer you shoot. So yeah, those are the two takeovers I would put on, and that is the build and the badges that I would put on for this inside-out shot creator build right here we just built. Okay, and now on to the jump shots, as you see right here. This jump shot is pure chicken. This jump shot is the jump shot that I currently use. The base is O'Shaver set. The release one is Lamella Ball, and the release two is Oscar Robertson. So if y'all didn't know, if you put Oscar Robertson as your release one or two, it basically makes the jump shot glitchy. It makes the jump shot crazy good. It gives it all A stats. Yeah, I know jump, some jump shots, they have all A plus stats besides the timing impact, but don't worry about the timing impact. I know it's a D right there in the bottom right corner. It does not matter at all. 
as long as the release speed's good, the release high in the death immunity, it's all A's, we're good. And they see right here, they are all A's. And this is the jumps that I currently use. I shoot about 70% from three, 75% from the field. If y'all ever see my stats, I've posted them in multiple videos. I've posted my 2K card. I have like an 87 percent as well. So this jump shot is very glitchy. And this is just one of the jump shots I use. This jump shot, you need a 79 three-pointer to put it on. So if you don't have a 79 three-pointer, don't even think about watching. Don't even think about putting it on. I don't even know why you're watching the Guard Academy video if you don't have higher than a 79 three-pointer. But yeah, I also have a little, I also have a couple more jump shots. I have a guard jump shot too. I see right here. My LaMelo Ball, Steph Curry, and Oscar Robertson. This is my guard jump shot. I have a little 6'3 guard. And I know the, the little tall guard, but I have a 6'3 guard. Hey, see right here. This jump shot is crazy. This jump shot is very fast. And the thing about this one, though, you do need an 85 three-pointer to put this jump shot on. So if you're on a small guard, you should obviously have an 85 three-pointer. That's a threshold for Silver Limitless. But yeah, the reblending, 50-50, and release speed 4-4. Four four, and many of y'all wondering what shot timing I use. I use early shot timing. Some people use late. Early shot timing with a 4-4 four four speed jump shot is going to make it crazy fast. I know. But that's just how I rock, man. These jump shots, man. If you're in the stage, you're playing lockdowns, you're playing comp games, you got to get the jump shots off fast. Okay, man. I'm going to show y'all some gameplay. See right here. We're playing a comp game, 95 overall, level 28. I had to show y'all how good this build is and how I usually play on the one squirt. So, you know, I had to bring it to the one squirt. And we're playing J or him, huh? Let's see. J, are you him? And you see, I'm going to rip first play. Steals are broken still. Steals are really broken. If y'all played patch one, y'all know steals on the one squirt. We're absolutely crazy, bro. I've seen people upload videos get like 40 steals in a game. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah, I see I'm hitting with a little snatch back and I'm blown right by him. And my thing on the one score, I like to cook up. I like to rim run. I'm not going to lie. I like to rim run until I get takeover and then I can start shooting, you know? I start to feel comfortable playing the game. But yeah, people like, this build is crazy because if you guard up too high, look, I hit him with a spin back and that's green, a delay green. But yeah, if you guard up too high, I can just blow by you easily because I have a 6-8 build that can just rim run every time. But if you don't guard up too high, I can shoot the ball easily. I have an 85 three-pointer. And look, I have takeover now. I'm hitting with a snatch back. He's reaching. That's a green light, and you know I'm not missing those. Those are too easy. He's leaving me wide open. And you see right here, 12 to nothing. Can he get a stop? I'm hitting with another spin back. He's jumping out of the play, and he's flopping because he realized that he ran into a 1v1 core demon, and he's not going to win. So, yeah, let's see. Let's see if he can get a stop, man. I'm not even try hard against him. I'm really just hitting with basic one spin back. I'm not even warmed up or nothing. Hey, he's right there. That man is going to steal. I guess what goes around comes around, man. I spammed him. He spammed me. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can get a stop. But you see, this build, that's why you make a build with good anchor, you good block, good interior defense. Because on the one score, my first build, my first build didn't have any anchor. It didn't have post move lockdown. I couldn't stop it. You see, he's jumping, and I'm still getting the ball in the basket. But yeah, my build, I was getting dominated by post scores. I'm not going to lie. Post scores are incredibly hard to stop this year. As you see, I'm fading to the right. He didn't contest me. That's green light. What build? can iso like this and still do that and this build does everything this build catches ankles it does all that but yeah that's easy 21 to nothing this man did not score see i was shooting the ball too i wasn't just rim running i was shooting threes okay and you see right here before we get onto the dribble tutorial make sure you put these dribble moves on so you can dribble just how i'm doing in these clips and you see michael jordan dribble style signature size up darren fox if you're a small 6-1 guard you can put trey young on but i prefer darren fox i'm a big 6-8 so yeah, size up escape, LeBron James, moving crossover, Russell Westbrook, very glitchy move. Make sure to put that on. That gets you crazy separation, and that's how you get crab animations this year. You see moving behind the back, Zach Levine, basic spin back, obviously the best move in the game. Basic spin back gets you the most separation. It's the hardest move to guard this year, and basic spin back into the Luka step backs. Yeah, no one's guarding you. I'm not going to lie. No one is able to guard you, so make sure to put those on, and I'm sure how to use those combos right now. Yeah, I gotta show you some dribble moves. I gotta show you my dribble combos that I use in this game. I see right here, the snatchback. Look at what I'm hitting. I am hitting him with the snatchback. So basically for the snatchback, all you have to do is you hold RT, you flick the right stick down and the left stick up. So basically look at this. You hold RT, flick right stick down, left stick up all at the same time. And I'm just doing that. And it gets you a lot of separation that triggers angle breakers and it just gets you speed boost. You can speed boost out of it. It's a good, easy reset dribble move to use. You see, once again, RT, right stick down, left stick up. And you see, I can combo out. If I can speed boost out of it, I can fade to the left. You see, that's green. I'm not missing, bro. But yeah, that is basically probably the main move I use right here. And you see, I'll put a little dribble tutorial on the screen. If y'all, if I haven't already, I'll put it on the screen of how to do that move. Okay, and this is my second combination right here. 
this is the basic one spin back if you play 2k23 you need to know how to do the spin back so basically you hold rt and while you're driving to the basket you have to spin you have to twirl your right stick 180 degrees let's say the ball is in my right hand and i'm driving to the right side you twirl your right stick 180 degrees to the right down and i'll put a little tutorial on the screen to show what i mean you twirl 180 degrees down to the side you're driving to and then you'll do a spin back all while holding rt as well don't hold anything else but drive to the basket hold rt and then twirl your right stick 180 degrees and then you'll see you'll do a basic one spin back this is the best move in 2k23 period this paired with a lucas step back man no one is gonna be able to guard you okay that is simple no one can guard you when you do this move this move if y'all haven't seen my tiktok go follow my tiktok at 2k made aqua i'm almost at 100k bro and once you get playmaking takeover it's really over because look look at how fast that move is i don't have takeover but look at how fast i got that shot off after the step back it's just a glitchy move to do and no one can stop you but yeah this third move right here this is a new move i just added to my bag i've been watching a lot of pro m i've watched a lot of joe knows you know shout out joe knows we have a lot of comp pro i'm watching that and the russell westbrook crossover like look at this move the russell westbrook crossover this is how you crab people this is how you dribble between people's legs you just get crazy separation with this build and you can hit a step back out of it after look step back out of that move is ridiculous yeah so basically all you want to do this is an easy move all you do is hold rt and you flick your right stick up you don't have to touch anything else you just hold rt flick your right stick up and if you want to do the step back move after you let go of everything and just flick your right stick down so it is really an easy move to do but yeah those are the three combos i use okay and if you somehow made it this far in the video make sure to comment down below let me know comment 2k made aqua down below in the comments i'm pinning every comment i'm gonna shout out everyone who comments that in the next video okay you heard it here first i'm shouting out everyone who comments 2k made aqua if you made it this far but yeah that is all for the guard academy video man i hope i showed y'all some tips y'all didn't know i put y'all in some jump shots something like that Hopefully you guys learned something from this video. And if you're still watching, make sure to comment down below, subscribe, like, do all that. Follow all my socials at 2K Made Aug. We're almost at 100K on TikTok, man. And yeah, that's all for the video, man. It is me signing out. Peace.